Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and we're continuing on with the January creative prompts, and today is January the 14th. Today we are to choose an animal, create your journal page around that animal, then write about the animal you chose. So I've grabbed a few things from my stash, and let's see what we can do. So here's what I've got. The journal page that's in my journal is the basically the index to cities of a map. It's a map that I have page in here. And I grabbed a book page because I liked the vintage color that it had. I thought that would look kind of neat here. Then I've got a gel print. This was a scrap of a gel print. Think you know, leftover bits of paper that you may have. This was me trying to clean up my gel plate, and so I just got this long skinny piece that I thought would be perfect to line across the side of the page here. Then I found one of these tear off little notepads and it happens to have a little bird on there. So I thought that might look kind of cute there. I've got a couple of rubber stamps and then I've got this uh, digital image from Songbirds by Calico Collage. These are conyards. They're supposed to be green cheek conyards I think, but she couldn't find green cheek so she found conyards that she could uh, in the digital vintage world and made these pages or journal cards. So that's going to go there, and that's going to be a tuck spot, and this is going to go behind it. So you're kind of seeing where I'm going here, I think. So I'm going to start by trimming off this piece. I'm going to apply some Distress Ed ink to this page, and then we'll do some stamping. So right off the bat here, I want to take this piece, and I want to trim it to be the same height as my foundation page or journal page. So I'm just going to get in here with my scissors and trim this up. I'm going to apply some Distress Inks to that edge and then I'm going to apply Distress Inks to these edges here. This paper is really thin and so it was tearing on me so I used the page as a place to just use the Distress Ink without worrying about getting all over my surface. All right, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this down closer to the top and towards the fold of my page. And I'm not worried about this area here because I'm going to cover it up. So I'm just going to use some Aline's Tacky Glue and glue this down. Next, I'm going to take this little strip and I'm going to glue it down on the edge. Now, you could make this a tuck spot, just strengthen it up with another sheet of paper behind it or a piece of cardstock, but I don't want it to be a tuck spot with the strip. So I'm just going to go ahead and glue it straight down. And I've got this little piece that I think is going to go right in here. So I'm just kind of judging where I want it to go, which I think is right about here. And I want to stamp on top of this, so I'm going to do it on my work surface so it's a little easier. And I've got let your spirit soar. I kind of think that goes with birds flying, so that's why I chose that saying. And it's from Beeline Designs. It's a stamp that I have in my shop. I believe it's a set of four different uh, phrases. And I think I'm going to put that right up here. How's that? I have some washi tape here, so I'm going to grab a little piece of this. I chose it because it has some birds on it. And I thought, well, since I'm using birds, even though the birds here are different, I think it's okay because they're all birds. Let's see, it has a, little, has a little robin right there and a little crown on its head. Okay. And then I've got this little stamp that says bird, so it's kind of a half circle, a little bit more than half of a circle there, with some uh, branches and there's a couple little birds. And I think that would look really neat down here in the corner. So I'm going to get the Archival Inkjet Black again and stamp that down here. Yeah, okay, that's looking good. It's looking good. So now I'm going to glue this piece down here to be a tuck spot. So I'm just going to glue on two sides. So I just put glue on two sides to make that a tuck spot. I need a little bit more. It looks like I didn't get enough. There. And this is going to go behind there, which I think it'll look really good with all the layers that we have going on. Well, now I'm going to write on this card, birds. Why did I choose the birds? And then I'll be right back and tell you all about it. 
So I'm using the Sharpie No Bleed pen. I like this type of pen. It's a felt tip. It won't bleed through my papers. I've showed you on other pages. That's why I use it. It's a nice pen. Um, they are kind of expensive, so I usually buy them in a multi-pack, and then I have plenty to go buy. So today was choose an animal and use that as your foundation for your journal page and then write about that animal. And I chose birds. So if you've been following me any at all, you know that my mother loved birds. So I'll read to you what I wrote. My mother loved birds. She had many birds as pets throughout her life. She had parakeets, finches, cockatiels, chickens, turkey, geese, and then at the end of her life, she had a green cheek conyard, which was a parrot. She, I think she liked how each bird was quirky, and I'll always remember her when I see birds. You know, I can remember us raising different birds throughout the years. She would have some that were pets in the house, some were pets outside. It just kind of depended upon the bird. So there's lots of interesting stories. My mother had a turkey that was in love with her and followed her everywhere she went. <laughs> and one day she dropped something and the bird jumped on her back thinking it was time to mate her. <laughs> we'll never forget that because we all saw it. And my mom was completely mortified like, why are you doing this to me? I am your friend, you know. <laughs> but the funny memories of mom and her birds. That's why I chose that. And I'm going to put that right here. And I think I've got a nice little journal page that I've put together. I hope that inspires you. You don't have to necessarily use stamps. You could use images. Maybe you've got a magazine that has an image of a critter that you enjoy. Maybe you want to use a photograph of one of your pets, a cat or a dog or horse or llama, whatever it may be, and then tell us a little bit about that. I hope you're enjoying these prompts that you're inspired to create. We're going to continue this on, so you're going to come back tomorrow, get another prompt, and I hope you're sharing them inside the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Robin is the person who put the prompts together, Robin Finnessy. She's one of my administrators of the group and one of my friends. And then I'm just executing these, trying to inspire each and every one of you. I will be live on Mondays at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, then again on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. And I hope you'll join us as I share whatever the day is, whether it be for creating junk journals or even doing some mixed media elements to put in junk journals like this gel print. All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye.